So welcome everybody um, to the seventh Riot Summit, uh, which is, I guess, uh, a great success. We had two summits in Berlin and one uh, very exciting summit in Amsterdam, one even more exciting summit in Helsinki, and then two online summits due to obvious reasons. And now we are really glad to be back in person in Hamburg. Hamburg considers itself as the coolest city in Germany. Uh, you check out if you have time. Don't miss uh, a hard boat trip. That is uh, that is uh, always fun. Yeah, we have a very interesting program. Um, we already started with a beginner's tutorial. You, some of you were part of it. Uh, we after the welcome, we will have a keynote. Uh, then we have two plenary sessions. Um, and the social event at, uh, uh, in, the e in the evening, I come to this, uh, looking at the sessions. So we, we will have a session on applications and everybody who is uh, presenting, they should contact the session chair, which is Ole. Where is he? Ah, here is Ole. And uh, afterwards we will have a session on networking and uh, the session chair for networking is Leandro next to me. And uh, tomorrow we continue. We continue with the uh, uh, with the assembly, general assembly, and then have again have breakout sessions. And your input to the breakout sessions should be should be today in the evening, so you can contribute and say I, we want I want to discuss something. We already had uh, had uh, an initiative by Michael, and then we have two plenary sessions, and one plenary session is on security, which is shared by Michael. So yeah, and uh, the last session is systems is, is a system session which is shared by Martin, who's sitting there. And uh, so I hope you will all enjoy this and uh, um, will also actively discuss what what is presented here. To, uh, tonight we will have a social event um, close to close to St. Pauli. This is uh, the so-called Überquell Brewery where we go. It is at the St. Pauli Fish Market. You can take the S train to Langhausbrücken and walk a little, but we will have guided transfers uh, by um, Peter, Leandro, Jose, uh, Michel, who is not, I don't see Michel in the moment, so many, many of the people who are, who are running around here. There will be free food and drinks until midnight. And uh, I, if you are, um, if you then want to continue partying, then we need to, need to discuss. Uh, there's also a really good uh, hospital here, the UKE, uh, so in case you're, uh, you, you overdo it. Um, yeah, we have, uh, just to remind you, we have a code of conduct. Uh, um, Martin is, uh, uh, the contact point, um, and I had just in case I had this uh, slide in here saying where is my right T-shirt, uh, but the T-shirts arrived in time. They just arrived uh, one hour before, one and a half hours before. So if you don't have one, uh, grab one. You could also use social media to uh, distribute uh, your news, your impressions on the, about the Riot Summit, leaving the Riot Summit twenty. 2022 hashtag and uh, one thing which is very important for all of us is that we uh, we couldn't do these summits without our sponsors and we have uh, um, very prominent sponsors here starting with Ericsson who were the, no right two were the first Zandemar uh, uh, were the first but Ericsson Zürich and Huawei are both sponsors uh, and we also have sponsors local sponsors high tech and uh, uh, um, the supporters of our university and um, also the latest sponsor jumping in was uh, MLPA. Is, do I pronounce this correctly? Yeah, okay, this is right. Okay, so we are very thankful for this, and this is actually makes it possible that we have a nice event, nice social, and all these. So, thank you all, in particular, also the speakers who will bring you through this uh, summit and uh, all other supporters. And by this, I hand over to Matthias, who will give you a recap. 
Okay, so also uh, one welcome from my side here on site, but also the people who are joined remotely. Uh, my name is Matthias Wiedeschmoy from Berlin, and I want to give you a brief recap of what happened between the last summit and today. And for those who are not so much familiar with Riot, um, just to keep in mind about this Riot, Riot is an operating system for the constraint IoT. Um, it explicitly targets uh, low end IoT devices. Um, and um, it uh, provides a really cool hardware abstraction layer, which makes it quite easy to run all of your applications on a diverse set of platforms. Currently, we support more than 240 uh, boards, much more at Viber than a lot of CPUs. Um, and the beauty of Riot is that it's not only technically cool, but also from a community point of view. So we are completely open uh, from a license model, but also from a, a community point of view. So we are very much inclusive and uh, follow more or less. Uh, why uh, the Linux and the uh, uh, IPF still. Um, and um, yeah, from this point of view, uh, why it is uh, firm ground for um, IoT applications. Um, and it is used not, I mean, it originally started as a research project in uh, 2008, where the uh, IoT kernel was developed from scratch uh, in Berlin. Um, and then in 2013, we uh, actually decided to make this a real open source project and uh, launch Riot. Um, and since then, it uh, is quite successful. Um, we, it is not, uh, not a research project not anymore. It is used actually by uh, also companies, and we'll come to this later. Um, and uh, it has now, nowadays, a real uh, um, sound uh, community. Um, we have uh, a quarterly re release cycles uh, since 2017 and um, have uh, developers that contribute from all over the world, including Asia, North America, South America, and obviously also Europe. Um, so uh, we have nine years of white, uh, overall 28 releases, and this is now what is today the seventh white summit. Um, and what is also quite important to have these um, uh, yeah, a regular release cycle is to have maintainers that actually uh, manage these releases. And the last four um, releases in the uh, Summit 2021 were managed by um, Ben Kiko, Emanuel Oleg, and uh, Christian Amses. And thanks a lot for this. And um, also thanks to those, uh, those who will manage the next release, Leandro and Maribu. And um, this is more or less an invitation to all of you if you. Um, uh, our maintainer um, and uh, want to manage the release, we are happy uh, about volunteers. Um, yeah, as I already said, we had four releases since last year, um, which included uh, more than 1,300 pull requests uh, from something like uh, 87 contributors. Um, this is, um, the numbers are impressive, but what is also impressive is this ability. So if you compare this with last year, we had 90 contributors. So we had, um, still have this um, large amount of people who are interested in Riot and also put effort and the resources into it. Um, in a little bit more detail, um, we now have support more than 15 boards in addition to what we had before. Um, in terms of uh, networking support, we now uh, have a, a merging, merged uh, the DSC Mac layer, which is a cool Mac layer because it combines actually the features of um, 15.4 and uh, Tisch, so that gives you um, a time trigger the convention based uh, back layer that is uh, easily to configure. Um, then uh, we have uh, Ripple support over BLE and also multi hop BLE support. Uh, we have core forward proxy and we advanced also the TCP support in GNSC uh, because it now supports the SOC ATPI, which basically allows you to uh, change the, um, the network stack under. The TCP application, so you can either use CNSC, PNSC, or LWIP. Um, the right community also is quite aware of um, flaws in the IoT, and this might be released to privacy and security issues. And uh, we put a lot of effort to make the IoT stable, secure, and privacy friendly. 
And uh, we now have support that yield here is about four. And we also support uh, FIDO2 FIDO protocol, FIDO2 protocol, which uh, basically allows you to have a passwordless um, authentication. Now you can uh, run a riot on a USB device and basically um, yeah, have a functionality that is similar to the UBT. Um, in terms of system support, you also had a lot of uh, improvements. We now support Rust much more uh, yeah, seriously. And um, um, basically, you are now allowed to, or you can actually add a single module um, uh, that then encapsulates arbitrary uh, Rust uh, modules. And um, you can also run um, Rust on Riot uh, on the latest um, Rust version without using the nightly build. Um, yeah, what else? Um, we also support WebAssembly and uh, changed uh, also the scheduler, which now allows you to um, uh, update the priorities during one time. And almost all modules currently uh, support that timer, the new uh, timer in mind. We also did a lot of uh, improvements or advancements towards the uh, uh, testing uh, because we think that um, uh, sound uh, IoT application. Uh, relies on a well tested um, uh, operating system to so improve the hard and the loop testing, we improve further the release automation and uh, also take config support. So, a cool operating system is not cool if no one uses it. Um, uh, since the last year, we have two quite exciting um, uh, application or deployments. One is uh, from the Netherlands, where Riot runs on wind turbines to make them smart. And we have also running Riot on a, a small mini satellite. Which was launched in January 2022. Um, and space? Sorry? Why is it in space? Yes. Um, <laughs> it is in space. Yeah. Not only stars, but also riot. But I suppose there's even more out. Um, unfortunately, not uh, all of the companies or users tell us. So if you use riot and you think that it's a cool project, that it's a cool community, then tell us. Um, we have a website, and on this website, we also present use cases. So uh, we would be very happy to feature your use cases. Um, so either you can submit a PR or just contact us uh, or send the email uh, to the mailing list or forum. Um, uh, and um, yeah, to raise awareness for your application, but also to raise awareness for why and to attract more attention. That's it. Uh, um, thank you very much for your attention, and I very much hope that you enjoy um, the on site. Uh, right summit, but also those who uh, join remotely. And uh, this is I hand over to our keynote speaker. Thank you very much.